Finally, wanted to give something of a substantial uh, update as where we are as far as our parish center building project. You know, we took that survey. Many of you took a survey back in November. We did it before the masses. It was also available online. So just wanted to share some of the results from that survey as well as what next steps will be in the short to medium term. So we had an excellent response to the survey, 357 total responses, something like 270, 280 distinct households responded, which is an excellent response rate for the size of our parish. Some of the key takeaways, when asked about one's attitude towards building a parish center, 90% of respondents, over 90% of respondents said that they were either excited or supportive. Only six total respondents, six persons, about one and a half percent, said that they were not in favor of the project. And the other eight and a half percent said that they were undecided, with many of them writing comments something to the effect of, depends what we build and how much it costs. Which to me it seems to be a pretty reasonable thing to consider. When asked if one was likely to donate to a capital campaign, over 80% of respondents said that they were likely or very likely to donate. Of the specific features that were offered for selection, offered for comment, the features such as PSR classroom space, meeting space, a new commercial kitchen, and a dining area, those things received just about universal support from those who were supportive of the project. Dedicated space for our food pantry and the work of our St. Vincent de Paul Society was supported by about two-thirds, 66 percent of respondents. Opinions were split on whether to build the dining area as just a dining area, meaning a large open room with a low ceiling, sim similar to how Founders Hall currently is, or to build it as a large multi-purpose area, the high ceiling, possibly even having space for sports, things like that. So those opinions were split, and we'll continue to weigh the pros and cons, as well as the cost difference of both of those options as we move forward. A new rectory was supported by about half of the respondents, but for a variety of factors, it's no longer being considered as part of this project, though it's being kept in mind for planning in the future. Some of the key themes, some of the major ideas, things that came up multiple times in the comments section, most comments were very practical in the sense of make sure that our space is multi-use, we use our space well, that space can be doubled or tripled as meeting rooms, formation rooms, classrooms, so on and so forth. Uh, make sure that we don't overbuild, so we want to build for our needs now, but also with the flexibility, openness for any future growth that may occur. Many of you said that we want to make sure that we aren't spending money needlessly. So. Overall, the responses were definitely responses after your pastor's own heart. Be responsible, be practical, and be fiscally conservative. All good things. All good things. Also, there were many suggestions for different features, certain things to be considered potentially within the scope of the project. So some ideas that came up multiple times were referenced multiple times are things like the inclusion of a better space for our parish library. I bet a number of you didn't even know we have a parish library. It's currently downstairs next to the Grand Hall bathrooms. So some said it might be nice to have a better space. That could also be a meeting space. A number of suggestions for a children's room, something where kids could go, say, after Mass while their parents visited or talked, a place where babysitting would occur during events, a place where mothers, especially with young children, could go to get a few quiet moments during large gatherings. A number of comments as well about the importance of outdoor space, not just a building, but making sure that we have good outdoor space, especially a new pavilion, someplace to gather outdoors, especially important for the sausage dinner. And many, many comments about parking. They're very concerned about parking, how much parking we have, where it is, all of these sorts of things. So all of those and more is being considered uh, and taken into consideration. Thank you very much for your responses to the, to the survey. It's shaped what we're doing going forward, very helpful indeed. So moving forward, it's clear from the responses to the survey we have widespread support within the parish, so we're going ahead with the project. That means I've written to Archbishop Rosansky requesting his permission to pursue this project. It's a required step 
anytime something of this magnitude is to be undertaken by a parish. So I've written for his permission, and I'm waiting for the written response back. Although he and I have spoken verbally, I've gotten the verbal go-ahead, the verbal okay, so just waiting for that in writing. Seems to be more of a formality. Because we've gotten the verbal okay, last week the building committee and I met with the Archdiocesan Head of Building and Real Estate. From that conversation, it was a good conversation. From that conversation, two things became clear as the next steps. First is for us to set a more particular or a more refined scope for the project. I mean, we want to work out more precisely what we need and what we want to build. So we say classroom space, okay. How many classrooms for how many students? We say meeting space, okay. How big do we want those meeting spaces to be? We say we want a commercial kitchen. What sort of features should be in there? What should its serving capacity be? So that's the first step on our part, is to set a more refined, a more definite scope for the project. Get some of those particulars down. Then, secondly, we're going to work with the Archdiocese to select a master planning consultant, which sounds very exciting. Uh, this group will help us envision how best to use our grounds, how best to use our space for both building to meet our needs now, as well as, the, as, well as with a vision towards what is likely or what may be added in the future. So as far as the now, it's the what do we build, where do we build it, what does it look like? That's the now. The future is, well, we're not including a rectory in this project, but likely one will be built at some point in the future. So where on the grounds would that likely end up? So let's make sure we build now to reserve that space in the future. Okay, we don't have a parish school now, but maybe one day in the future that will be a need and a desire. So then how do we build so that we can fit that need in in the future? So just building now with a mind towards the flexibility for what may be future needs, future wants of the parish. Our hope is that we'll have several options from which then we can select and refine what will be our actual project itself. So between now and Easter-ish, the building committee is going to be meeting to accomplish those tasks, set the scope of the project, and select our master planning consultant, who will also act as the architect for the project. So that's your update. That's where things stand now. As things happen, as more information is available, continue to share it with you via a variety of means, variety of channels. Again, thank you for all who did respond to the survey. It was incredibly helpful, very helpful as we move forward. And as we all hopefully are continuing to do, please certainly pray for the Lord's guidance in this endeavor, that in all of these decisions, ultimately, His will may be done. Thank you.